Daryl and Jesse finally finished putting the suspension units together and now it's time to fit the wheels and track. Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Before the wheels can be fitted, Jess has a little bit more work to do on them. He has to fit them out with spacers and new bearings, but they just need one final clean up with the wire wheel just to make sure they go together smoothly. Hello. <laughs> Just cleaned up. Oh yeah. They're all a bit mangled and that. So I'm just pressing them, just flattening them a bit. Just makes it a little bit easier to line everything up. Because if they were a little bit up and down, it's just harder to get it in. They've already got a bit of oil on that on them. It, it's not, you don't have to grease it? No, they're a uh, sealed bearing. seals, it's dual seals pushing these. The Americans like to put double the seals on everything. Yeah. Not not a hundred percent sure why they did that but So we've got a like, inner space in there that pushes in. Knocks in and then they go in. Like that. That's how it works. goes in first. Like that. Throw a little bit of oil. So many little components. Yeah. Bit of a nightmare, but there you go. But that's wow. one. Wow. Put the other side in. Side again. Yeah. Look at that. One done. 11 wheels later, and now they're ready to be fitted to the suspension bogies. Fit okay? That one's going to be perfect to start with. Well, that's good.
We'll have to just push quickly enough. Track. She's really going to start looking like a tank now. The track that would have been originally on this vehicle is lost to time, but as you would have seen previously, we have several donor vehicles that were able to supply some for this restoration. It's been freed up, sandblasted and painted, and is ready to be fitted. This track does not have a lot of lateral movement, so it basically has to be rolled down in a straight line for us to pull it on. We're limited for space in the workshop, but we should be able to just make it.
Go Daryl. <laughs> Come on Daryl. <laughs> uh, someone pushes the bed in. business.
All that work to pull apart the bogies and test the springs now comes to a head as the boys finally take off the supports. Oh, I don't even have any weight. <laughs> too busy talking. Too, too busy talking. Talk. No, talk I can't really say that, can I? Talking rubbish. It would hurt. And... Okay, so that was a little bit underwhelming, but that's a good thing. It means the springs are holding the weight without completely collapsing. If there was something really visually interesting to see, then it would have probably meant that there was something not right. The tank is off the stands. Now we can join up the track and knock off for the year. But we've run into a little bit of an issue. That's still more than a track hook. Well, the, the tank track that we took off the donor vehicle up at the farm has only got 78 links in it, where we need 79. So what we're thinking is, when, as the suspension sunk down and gradually got too loose, they took a track link out. So we had to go through the museum and track down another set of track link, but we're lucky we've got one that's close enough for what we can use, and we're going to fit that now. We need four more connector joiners on the side. We've got some old ones, but they're, they're putting up a fight. We hope to have to get them off, but they're, we're going to have to play around with them a bit to get them apart. It's the last day of work before the Christmas break and we were expecting this to be an easy day and have the track just slip straight on together. But we should have known nothing is ever that easy. There's nothing else for it but to just get it fitted. You're around the wrong way. The horn. Yeah, I'll just check and see if you're oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, well done, Kurt. You passed the test. Oh, God. Put a bit of spray on Mickey juice. Oh, they left in right horns. Will they get it to fit? We'll find out. In next year's episode. Next year's episode. Lining up. And here, I, I'm not all the way through here. I've got another 15 mil, 20 mil here. See what we can do. Yeah. Not a big one, but. Oh my god, Daryl, you got it on. No, I haven't got it off. No, it's not on yet. We're still. Well, we can use. Do you want me to push it in a little bit? No, no, we'll use the clamp.
Well, we got one side on. Time for a well-deserved break and hit it fresh in a few weeks' time. 2023 has been an extraordinary year and we have loved having you along for the ride, but there's still a lot to do. Next year, when the Grant and Stug 3 are finished, we'll have some really incredible projects to share with you, but more on that later. There won't be a workshop Wednesday next week, but there will be a small video on Friday as Jason takes us on a tour of the ISU 152. The following Wednesday, we'll give you a short episode on the Steyr restoration that Al has been working on, and then after that, we're back into our regular schedule. That's all we have time for today, so tune in next time for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and have a happy new year. Thank you.